If you were to get a list of mosquito-borne diseases, um, we'd probably need half a dozen slides to list them all, and it would include a whole lot of obscure things that you might not have heard of. Some of them are only found in some countries, but here are some of the common ones that uh, everyone's heard of. Malaria, dengue fever, very big problem in Australia. Yellow fever was a very big problem in South America. That they say that the the hardest thing about building the Panama Canal, the biggest enemy was actually the mosquito because so many of the workers died uh, or were um, or became ill from yellow fever. Elephantiasis is another uh, parasitic disease rather than a, a viral or bacterial disease. Ross River virus, another problem in Australia. Zika virus, a more modern one you may have heard of, particularly in South America. And there's a list as long as your arm that uh, mosquitoes carry around. And so people think, well, you know, why on earth did God make mosquitoes? Could they possibly have ever been any good? I mean, all they do is bite people. They don't seem to do anything else. Well, do they only just bite people? Let's think about just like we had with the, um, the black flies in the very good world. Were there mosquitoes in the very good world? Well, there must have been because God created those along with everything else within the uh, six days of creation. So when God declared everything very good, the mosquitoes were very good. Is that possible? Well, yes, it is. In the very good world, all insects make plants. And the mosquito has a proboscis, which is very good at uh, penetrating um, tubular structures and sucking out uh, liquids. So the mosquito proboscis, which is used to bite people in uh, the world we have today, is actually very good for sucking plant juices and nectar. And so mosquitoes do actually feed on plant juices and nectar, and that's what they did in the very good world. And because the plants were also very good, they got plenty of nutrition. However, the world didn't stay very good and so mosquitoes had to cope in the fallen world just like everything else or they would die out. And in the fallen world, male mosquitoes still live on plant fluids and nectar all the time. The reason that uh, mosquitoes are a nuisance, it's actually only the female mosquitoes. Now, for energy to fly around, yes, they do feed on plant fluids, so they, they will drink nectar and, and suck plant juices. However, they will seek blood when they are about to lay eggs. And the reason for this is that they need something extra in order to lay eggs. They need iron and protein. And blood is actually a very good source of both of those things. And furthermore, human blood is very easily accessible source because we're not hairy and furry uh, like uh, lots of other uh, living things that have blood. So we're an easy target. And so the mosquitoes uh, will come looking for uh, a good source of iron. And they are equipped with a proboscis that can penetrate human skin. That doesn't mean it was designed to penetrate human skin. It's just that it can. It has, it's good for uh, penetrating plant uh, veins. So it's equally good for penetrating human skin. And sure enough, there is a good source of iron. That's the fallen world. It's not that God designed them to be bad. It's just that they were made for the good world. They are now surviving in the fallen world. So let's go back to our original question. Why did God make mosquitoes? I mean, there'd be many people who would say, if we could eliminate every mosquito from the face of the earth, the world would be a better place, but that's not true. 